Hello, good people. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I appreciate each and every one of you guys as well as you ladies. We were trying to do our Sunday live stream, our very last one, because next week we'll be watching football. In fact, right now, this time next week, we'll be watching the Eagles. Fuck them birds. Fly, Eagles, fly. Now we shoot those birds out of the sky. Stupid dumbasses managed to give up a third and 30 to my sexy arm. Pathetic defense and team. No wonder I own those piece of shit frauds every damn year. Don't get me started on the fans. You boo me while I earned a respected award. Losing the Super Bowl was just karma for you fuckheads. I can't wait to drop 100 on your heads next season while being the daddy of the NFC East again. And that's how I feel about the Eagles. F them birds. All right, so... I just want to, since we couldn't get the thing live, we, I didn't have enough bandwidth and all that, I want to go ahead and at least talk to everybody. Shout out to my channel members that have been with me for so long and that come in on Sundays loyally. Next week, program note, we'll be doing this at 5 o'clock on Saturday because, like I said, we'll be watching uh, football. So my question here, I want to get your guys' response to this, is with the off season that we've had, we believe over I'll the last couple of years, more and more has been put on Stephen Jones as far as running the organization with Jerry Jones getting older. That's not to say that Jerry Jones is not putting in a lot of input. And we know that Stephen Jones has made some mistakes like with D-Law when he literally said, you know, we, I know we owe you $28 million, but how about you take 10 and we'll call it even. And, uh, and he basically said, boy, release me. This year, it seems like we're getting some things right. So the question is, if Jerry Jones, or when Jerry Jones goes, is Stephen Jones going to be a good owner for the Dallas Cowboys? And I want to ask everybody, I see you got James Nooks here. James, how you doing today, man? Yep. I'm good. What do you think about I that? I don't know. I don't know. He might surprise us, but right now, I'm not a big fan of him because it seems like every time we get an opportunity to get a good player, he always says, oh, we don't need him. We just stick with the players we got. And I mean, to a certain extent, I agree with him, but there's players out there that can make our team put us over the hump and put us in the Super Bowl, and he just looks over them. That just doesn't sit well with me. I'm sure it probably don't with a lot of other fans either. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm not, I'm not saying go out and spend mm -hmm. all the money on one player, but if you can find a player – I mean, look at the teams that's won the Super Bowls, including the Eagle Trolls. They went out, they signed the players they needed, they got to the Super Bowl, they didn't win. I mean, the year before that, the Rams, they went out, signed the players they needed, they won the Super Bowl, mm -hmm. Tampa Bay. So, I mean, they need to open up their checkbook a little bit. Well, you know, here's the thing. I'm going to put it this way, though. We saw a lot of teams last year that ended up doing, going out and getting players, and everybody wooed and wowed them. And they looked at the Cowboys and said, Cowboys, y'all are ass ass. You didn't do anything to help the team. And here it was the Cowboys were 12 and 5 by believing in their own guys, guys that we were like, man, come on, man, we ain't got the horses for the race. And you start looking at this and saying, well, look at where the Rams are right now. You know, they ended up giving away Jalen Ramsey, you know, Matthew Stafford. You, you got to believe that they're ready to move on from him. And they are literally starting over. You look at Tampa Bay. I, I kind of look at this and say, I don't know if we can win it this year, but I look at it and say, we should still be good for years to come with getting these guys locked up in here and getting the talent that we have. You know, who, who thought that J. Ron Curse was going to be anything when we signed him? Who thought Malik Hooker was going to be anything when we signed him? And I dare say, find me some free agents out there that were big names that got a lot of money that actually played better than those guys. That very amazing. You know, so yeah, so give me your, that, that would be my argument to opening up the checkbook for getting a lot of guys. Now, the Eagles were more the exception than the rule. The Eagles, nobody hits on free agents like that. Nobody has the health that they had last year like they did. Take a look, though, around other teams. You know, Von Miller gets hurt. You look at Russell Wilson and how bad he played. You know, and I'm not sold that Aaron Rodgers is going to be a different maker for the Jets. Ruben, your thoughts? 
Well, Mark, I really think about the Jets. Mm-hmm. Um, I think that's going to be a good battle, Mark. Mm-hmm. All right. I really think it's going to be a good game because we got, I mean, they're already hyped up. The Jets is, is you know, number one contender for a Super Bowl mm-hmm. already. All right. I think we're I think we're gonna go out there and play them well, and I think I gotta believe in this team this year. I really do. Oh, I think we're definitely gonna be a really good team this year. And I look at it and from the standpoint, and I say, okay. We, we know Mike is going to be resigned. We know Diggs is going to be there for a while. We know CD is going to get paid. You know, you've got Zach Martin happy. You got Terrence Steele okay. Now, um, you've got um, uh, shit, Smith. Um, you know, young Smith over there on the offensive line. You know, Dak, I believe, is going to be here for several years. Maybe, you know, some people would rather him be gone. Um, I don't know what'll happen with Tony Pollard, but you got some young tight ends and things. You can look at this and say you got cornerstone pieces that you can find some interchangeable guys to continue to be good without necessarily busting the bank. What do you think about that game time? Listen, man, Catboy has done his job this off season, but there's work to be done. They got steel done, but I agree with you. Um, you know, if Terrence Steele would have hit the streets, he would have been signed or we would have had to pay more. Mm-hmm. That's just that's just what would have happened. So it was the right move. It's a lot of money. I'll be curious to see the cap hit and all. I know they rolled this year into it. Mm-hmm. But, um, yeah, man, it's, it's nothing but good news heading into the, ceiling, uh, the uh, season. You know how they like to, you know, go into the season riding high and signing their guys. We'll see if CD gets done. Um, that would be... Real nice, but yeah, man. I, I, I can't believe it, yeah. I lived long enough to hear you say Cat Boy's doing a decent job. He's doing a decent job. Uh, you know, he's doing his job, and he, you know, I, I I would be an idiot to sit here and complain about it. So I'm sitting in the war room now, and Stephen just left. You know, they're out having some uh, drinks with Jerry. So uh, yeah, man, we're good. We're getting ready to party here in Big D. <laughs> okay, all right, Jillian, you'd like to chime in on on are, are we in capable hands with Stephen Jones going forward? Unmute your mic, Julian. Your mic is muted. Okay. He gone. Okay. My fault. Oh, there you go. Okay. So, so I think that no. <laughs> um, yeah. Well. I, I've never really been his biggest fan, but I'll say, hey, this this whole offseason, A, A plus for me. So for now, hey, I got to give credit where, where it's due. Hey, he's really impressed me this offseason. So. Well, you could look at it uh, like this, and, 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 and maybe he's like Howie Roseman, because remember, you know, <laughs> Philly 500 was ready to get rid of Howie, right? Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I yeah. fire. I fire. Fucking fire. Fire. Stupid motherfucker. Who's up to Philly five hundred? He'll be fired. In what is he? So, so is it possible <laughs> that Stephen Jones has done a Howie Roseman and become actually a good financial guy? Making some uh, good moves. I mean, you know, we got Brandon Cooks. We got Stephon Gilmore, mm-hmm. former Defensive Player of the Year. Granted, they are a little bit older, but these are a lot better guys than what we had. I mean, you know, we, remember we used to have, you know, Anthony Brown mm-hmm. and Noah Brown, right? And look what we got right there without mm-hmm. busting the bank and giving up a lot of draft picks. Yeah, we got Cooks. I can't believe that. That's one surprise. Why I'm, I'm really surprised at. Mm-hmm. Brandon Cooks. Yeah. Yeah, so it'll be interesting to see after this year. He only has what left, Mark, this year, right? Yeah. So, hence, you know, I mean, I think they would try and bring him back, but, you know, who knows? Um, he ain't going to play on that, on what he's playing for this year. J. Ron curses up at the end of the year. That's mm-hmm. why it'd be nice to get CD Lamb done. It would be nice to get, more importantly, Dak Prescott done. Well, it gives you some more money to work with. 
Yeah, because you got Parsons, and then you have uh, you know, J. Ron Curse's deal is up if you want to offer him a deal. Mm-hmm. Uh, and eventually Tyler Smith. I'm not sure what's going on with D. Law and his contract, if it goes through next year and how that works. I haven't gotten that far, but we got stuff still to do. Um, if everything goes as planned and we win the Super Bowl this year, then, you know, the team might take some liberties that they might not normally, which means mm-hmm. that if we lose Brandon, then we lose Brandon. We just won a Super Bowl, yada, yeah. yada. I'm getting ahead of myself, but that's why they really wanted to keep Jalen Brooks. Yeah. So Jalen Brooks, and then we got uh, Jalen uh, Tolbert. So the future looks bright. Okay. All right. Any other comments on Stephen Jones, Thomas Garrett? Your thoughts on Stephen Jones? Is he ready to take over for Jerry? Come on, Catboy. Catboy, cat yeah. Catboy. Catboy. <laughs> cat Catboy's been doing that thing cat this boy. year. Well, Catboy been doing the damn thing. He uh, has been, man. <laughs> I just, uh, y'all gotta forgive me. I just, I just came, I just came in. You know, we doing our thing today, and I'm. Had dinner, had a few drinks, but other than that, you know, I'm good. He's feeling but Catboy, nice Catboy, been doing the damn thing. I'm, mm-hmm. you know, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of shocked about it because, in other, you know, in other time, <laughs> you know, Catboy, he would be, you know, he would be. I'd be lighting his ass up right about now. So. Yeah. Oh, Yo, you, 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 you weren't even just a couple of weeks yeah. ago. Listen, I'm not. There's still work to be done. But if I'm going to sit here the day after they sign Terrence Steele, who I told you they probably would get done, but mm-hmm. that's fine. He's doing a good job. Is his job done? No, he can't punch out yet. <laughs> He's still on the clock. So, yeah. Oh, you, know, man. you are just hard, He's, man. He's still on the clock. Come on now. So, but anyway, it was good. A good move. A little bit of goodwill. To a hardworking guy who made himself. He was a Red Raider out of Texas Tech. Mm-hmm. Nobody liked him coming out of college. Mike McCarthy took him under his wing, pretty much. You know, he sang his praises. We, and, you know, he wasn't pretty early on, but what did he do? He's, he put his head to the grindstone, and he worked at his craft. He was there. He was the first one, one of the first ones in the building, one of the last ones to leave. Now look at him. Mm-hmm. It just goes to show that you don't have to be an Alabama recruit or a University of Georgia recruit to have a success in the NFL. If you work hard, like a lot of good things can happen. Now, he's got generational wealth because he put in the work. Right. So I commend him, man. Brian, I, 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 you know, I, I got to admit, man, when he first came out, you know, he was, he was, on, he was on everybody's – he was on everybody's, you know. Mm-hmm. I'm well, he could have cried and, and, and whined and complained. No, nah, you didn't hear anything about it. You know what you heard? You heard and, his teammates say, my know, man's in the weight room. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm proud of him because I'm proud of him because, you know, he, he, you know, if, if everything happened in the eye blade. The improvement happened on the eye blade. And... You know, when you play in the pros, you don't you don't improve like that. You don't improve like that in a you don't improve like that in a quick time like he did. Mm-hmm. You know, when he what 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 what's the boss of God what's his name out in Los Angeles? Not Joey, I didn't say Frisco, his big brother. When oh, he yeah. pumped him Nick, out so, Nick Joey Boza is the bigger brother. Yeah, oh, okay. Nick Bosa is a younger brother. And Nick mm-hmm. is okay. In, uh, Joy Bosa. Charges. When he punked, when he punked him out, yeah. When he punked him out, I think that kind of that kind of sealed the deal. Yeah. That kind of sealed the deal, and we were like, hmm. He kind of had a year like Diggs. I mean, Diggs his first year. You seen signs of him doing good. Mm-hmm. I mean, when he was playing against DK Metcalf. But then that second year, he came out, he started balling out. Right. So he was kind of like, you see the signs. All right. Last thing I want to touch on before we get out of here is Jones. Do we think um, 
you know, he's not going to show up. Chris Jones is not going to show up for Thursday. And Did I call late. that or what? Now it's blowing up, is it not? It's Everybody's blowing up. Talking Everybody's, about Everybody's talking now. about it. Yeah. And um, <laughs> uh, he's okay. Allegedly, Kansas City offered him a three-year, seventy-four million dollar deal. And what, that got what, poo-pooed. What were the guarantees? Yeah, uh, we don't know what the guarantees the were. Yeah. I and know. he's definitely not interested in... Uh, he's not coming to Dallas. But that's who, of course, they throw our name out there, the local sports writer. We can't afford him. He won the well, first round Actually, hit. we have more flexibility than anybody else, technically. But well, we know first that that money... Pick, well, we, well, we have a first round pick to give up. You would be if if you could get him for a first round, you do it in a heartbeat. We're gonna our first round pick is gonna be at the end of the round, loyal. So, okay, so you're giving up a Mozzie Smith type. Mm-hmm. He's one of the best defensive linemen in the league. But you he get is 29 him. years old. Yes, and that's why I wouldn't give up Osa. So you know well, that that I mean Osa that's and a number one. Question. That's a lot. Yeah, it's a lot. N- not and to you mention, gotta you got to pay for him. Yeah. So it's not going to happen. They just throw it us out there. That's all I was bringing up yesterday. Is I heard it from a, a Kansas City sports writer is where I got the information from, and they throw I, I, us I out to, there I saying, "Well, they're talking right. Cowboys because they look." Why are they talking Cowboys? They're looking at the cap and who has the money to actually, because you know. You could structure it to the first year. There ain't much in there. Mm-hmm. But, you know, that's that's what it's all about. I was just throwing it out there like, hey, it's something to think about. If we're that close, would we do it? I would not do it. I like what we got. So I'm going well, to you got to get him in here. You got to get him used to the system and all that good stuff. Yeah. So. Yeah. 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 Nobody knows okay. what kind of shape Let he's in. Let me say this. Was, if it guaranteed you a Super Bowl, would you do it? Yes. Yes. Oh, hell yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. I, I just I, can't sit here today saying it is. Um, yeah. I, I, I think I, we can I, get I, to the Super Bowl without him. So, yeah. I, I would say that, but as of right now, I would pass on it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I would pass I'm on not it. giving up Osa. That's, that's not happening. If you want Neville Gallimore, if you want uh, somebody else, I would even. Oh, get, if, you know, if. If you know, if the Hunt family say, "Oh, I take Neville Gallimore," hell, <laughs> by Neville and the number one. If five. they wanted, here's nice a little, weird thing. Nice I know I'm throwing little, him under the bus. Nice if they nice wanted little, Demarcus nice Lawrence, thing. I'd have to I'm, think I'm, about I'm, it. I'm, I'm glad I went to your wedding a, a few months ago, but uh, uh, <laughs> we uh, uh, we got to ship you to Kansas City, bro. We it's just a story stuff. to talk about, here's, Thomas. Here's, Dang, he ain't yeah, going nowhere. I tell you what, I would do. I agree. I would say, how about two number twos? <laughs> That'll be good. I, See, I'll give you my I next just, two yeah, number well, two. Because yeah, because you know we're gonna screw up the number two anyway. You go. So yeah, there you go. Two number two. You got a point that. there. You got a point there, Mark. Hell yeah! I I I. You want to? You want to number twos? You, take them. Take them. There you take go. Take the money. Take, take the money. <laughs> take all of it. All right. Anyway. Okay. Right. So I don't want to make this too long because okay. it's going to take forever okay. to upload. We, 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 we'll let yeah, that know. You gotta keep it united with his former college teammate. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Take. Because you know him and Dak they play with each other. Uh, you know, they were former college teammates in Mississippi State. Right. All right. Real quick. Yeah. Real quick. Dude. Like when you text me this morning, I was watching. Uh, uh, what the hell? What the hell is that movie? What was I watching this morning? Remember the Titans. I was thinking yeah. of you. Yeah, I was remember, uh, the yeah, they were Williams, in man. We played. Don't Deion coach Sanders. Boone. Don't prime remind you of Coach Boone. He, it, that's why. Yeah, okay. that's just like him. Yeah, yeah. yeah but I was, I was thinking of you. Left side. Strong side. It was good. Yeah, I remember I the TC Titans, yeah. man. Mm. Yeah. Alexandria, anyway. Virginia. All right, good yep. people. I appreciate y'all. And we will be here next Saturday. Or not here. I won't be here in enemy territory because everywhere I see, I see Eagles shit. Uh, I will be back at the Man Cave and we will be doing this show on 5 o'clock on Saturday. As always, I appreciate you guys. Peace.